was good. Despite the trouble on the roads, it's safe to say that rain was needed tonight, especially for farmers. Yeah, they are receiving some assistance from the state, but as 13 News reporter Lane Ball explains, some are saying simply not enough. The sprinklers are running every night at the Wickline Farm in Hurricane. It is a strain on your purse. Jeanette Waller and her son Jeremy are just trying to salvage what they can in a summer where the drought's grip continues to grow tighter. The creeks are dry and we do have a pond, but our pond is also dry. But the drain isn't just on their water sources. The water is not necessarily the expensive part. The expensive part is the trucks you're pulling it with, the fuel you're using, the way that everything's just going out of the, through the roof. And it's causing a ripple effect. Little Rain is taking food out of their livestock's mouths. Everyone who owns cattle is already feeding out hay that they normally wouldn't start till winter. If you want hay, you're going to have to drive out of state. And no one's got that extra money for the fuel, let alone the resources to be able to even go get it. That's why the Wallers say they're hoping the state will step in and help. Governor Justice already declared a state of emergency for farmers like the Wallers, but they fear it's not enough. I think that there needs to be something, emergency funding of some sort for the farmers. The Justice Administration told me today our office is currently developing a reimbursement program to support agencies helping distribute water to farms and farmers in counties that are dealing with extreme drought conditions. But that's only for areas listed on the drought map as severe. So for those outside that area, including the Wallers, tough decisions could have to be made. We would have to sell cattle. I mean, that's just all there is to it because we don't have the ability to keep them and put out all this money and not get any assistance back. Hoping for some relief by way of rain and funding in Hurricane Lane Ball, 13 News.